What's up guys? Coming to you, want to talk to you about Fire Emblem Three Houses. So, real quick as a side, I got a Switch not that long ago, uh, earlier this year. Uh, really so I could play this game, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Eevee's my favorite, and when I heard that this was basically a remake of Gen 1, I was super excited. And so, uh, I haven't been reading as many comic books lately because I've been playing Switch. And so I played through this game, and then I played another one. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Amazing game. And then I've got a few more that I got. Got some Super Mario titles. This is Mario Kart. And so, just pretty cool stuff. So all of them are really great games that I have played and enjoy. Um, but, that's not what we're talking about. We want to talk about the game that has sucked my life. The last month of my life. Um, I have been crazy addicted to this game and I'm still playing it um, and that is Fire Emblem Three Houses so should you buy this absolutely absolutely um, if you like stories um, if you like our um, games where you can uh, create or forge your own path and and uh, learn stories about uh, universes and and if you especially if you like um, like strategy games, this is a game for you. Um, I was watching on a guy named Shady Penguin. Uh, I started watching his because I saw all the commercials. I was like, okay, this kind of looks interesting. Um, you know, I could get into this somehow. And it wasn't until I got into watching through his first playthrough that I was like, dude, I got to get this game. I'd also just come off of beating uh, Breath of the Wild for the second time. And so I was like, okay, it's about time, you know, I get a new game that has a, a new story for me. And uh, so I got fired on him, and I was like, you know, let's see how this goes. Now he went through uh, Dimitri's path, the path of the blue. I went down Edelgard. I was like, ah, oh, she's cute. Might as well go for, for her house. So I did. And it was fantastic. Fantastic. Um... And so basically the story is, I'm not going to, I'll try to keep it as spoiler free as possible so you can go play. But basically you become a professor and uh, you train your units on a weekly basis. So they actually have a calendar um, that you're following weekly schedule and it's not as cumbersome as it sounds. But you kind of get to explore each weekend if you if you so desire and you can go around and talk to all the characters get to know them a little bit you can recruit characters from the other two houses because there's three houses um, and then uh, you, all the while you're going down the storyline and the storyline is basically the same uh, for the first half of the game um, and then uh, halfway through the game it branches off depending on which house you chose um, and I don't know what the third one is because I just started the third playthrough. Because um, I, I played through with Edelgard first and then I went to Dimitri's house. And now I'm in Claude's house. So, should be interesting. I kind of thought of them as like the Pokemon colors. Um, uh, Pokemon Go. Because you got the blue. I, or blue. I chose blue and you got the red and then the yellow team. Um, <laughs> I'm definitely uh, on the blue team. Um, Mystic, Team Mystic. Uh, don't know why you choose Instinct, but that's another uh, another idea or another another topic altogether. Anyways, this game is fantastic. So, uh, they intermingle uh, a lot of like story development, going and exploring the um, the monastery that you're teaching at, um, building characters. You're learning about all these different characters, and then. Uh, you go. Uh, the the other half of the game is battle. So you're training the characters to get to the battles, and then you have these real time strategy battles where dependent you, you decide where your uh, characters move and where you move depend uh, uh, causes the enemies to act certain ways. And your whole your whole goal is to you know defeat the the enemies without losing your your characters. Now I suggest you play it on uh, the um, classic mode. They've got a casual, um, 
where if your characters die, they'll come back. But that's boring. <laughs> that's boring. Do it the hard way and uh, make sure that you save all your characters. Because I haven't lost a character yet except for the first time through. Near the end, I lost a character named Hubert who I despise. And I did not care if he died. So I let him die. And ironically, because of some of the cutscenes, he stayed alive. So it was pretty funny. But I couldn't play him or tr teach him anymore. And I just, I didn't care. Uh, there's another character in the, the Yellow House that probably going to end up with the same fate. <laughs> um, he, if he dies, I'm just going to not care. Uh, I probably just won't even play with him. Um, as soon as I can recruit some other characters, that's, that's what's going to happen. But uh, that's beside the point. Anywho, um, great game. I love the character. So I'm, I'm a huge story-based uh, character. And there's so many mysteries. Like, um, it's as in-depth as uh, Breath of the Wild is as far as story goes and mysteries and all, all the stuff that you can learn about the universe. Um, and uh, it does not require you to have learned anything about the other games, which is a great starting point. Um, so that's awesome. Um, I'd love to learn about some of the other games, uh, which I've, on my own, have watched some other videos talking about the history of, of the series. Um, I'm not sure how it ties into the other series, so I will be interested in the future to see how they um, explain that. But as far as it goes, it's very self-contained. Uh, but there are a ton of questions, and you really aren't going to find out about a lot of them unless you play all three houses. Um, there are questions that I still have about the first two houses, and I'm like, I hope they explain this some way. But it's possible that they're leading themselves up to a sequel, which would be, pr be pretty cool. So, um, just really great. Um, you can either, these are your characters, Byleth is his or her name, you can choose. There's not a lot of character customization, which I think is normal for the series. I don't know. I would have liked to change the hair color, because not really a green hair color kind of guy. But, whatever, you know, whatever. Uh, everybody's got weird hair, but um, it's pretty cool. You get to grow with your characters, and what's interesting is, um, not to spoil too much, but it might have a little bit of spoiler, is that you're basically going to be fighting some of the students that you uh, taught um, the other houses. So you're going to fight the other houses at some point for, some, for whatever reason. So there's different reasons. So the second half of the game... You might be killing some of the students that you knew and got to got to know, and uh, especially on your second or third uh, playthrough, it's, it's it gets more difficult. And so, like, I'm strategizing my best to stay away from the characters that I loved from the first playthrough or the second playthrough. And uh, I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to kill these guys. Um, so it's really interesting. It's really interesting, and and uh, your characters will talk to you about that. Like, they'll be like, hey, like. We're fighting our friends, people we've, you know, studied for a year together with. And uh, all the while there's a mystery. I suggest, I suggest that you play in the Red House, which is the Black Eagle House. That would be my suggestion. Play through that one first. Uh, and uh, not because the others are worse, but I feel like... There's something in that series, in that house, that makes, that you can't unlearn. Um, there's something going on in that, in that house that you can't unlearn. And if you know it before you start, it makes it a little less interesting. Um, I'll leave it at that. So, I would suggest what playing the House of Red, the Black Eagle house first, and then playing the other two. Because there's a major spoiler to the game that will feel better, I think, if you're in, in the Red House. Um, and, uh, but, you know, it's not, ne it's not a necessity. Um, you can do it from any of the others, and it'll be just as interesting, I think. So, um... And so, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. That's all I'm going to say about that. So, 
Really interesting. Great game. Excellent. I, I highly recommend it if you love games with stories, uh, large RPGs. Um, it's really funny. Half, all the characters are so wildly different. Um, I'll be interested to um, see what you think about some of the characters. Uh, who's your favorite? Let me know. Um, they, uh, um, they're very different. They all go through different things, and it's interesting because um, at the end you see like what happens to uh, your characters after the war, and it's different depending on the relationships that you've developed between the characters themselves. So you do uh, like you go on and have meals with your your students to develop not only your relationship with them but their relationship with each other, and the way you teach them every week can have an impact on. Uh, there's certain activities that you can have them do together that will boost their relationship. Now their relationship off the battlefield will also affect their relationship on the battlefield because the, the tighter their relationship, the better they help each other. Uh, they have a better chance of uh, getting critical strikes and uh, gambit boosts and stuff like that with people that they um, work with, at least that's my understanding. They hit harder. Uh, it's really cool. It's really cool. Really well done. Excellent game. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorites now. I've never played another Fire Emblem game before in my life. Never heard of it until this one came out. I thought this was the first. Um, but it's now one of my favorite games ever. Um, it's not my favorite. That still goes to Star Wars KOTOR. Um, but um, it's up there. It's probably top 10 easy. Easy. So... Let me know what you think. Uh, have you uh, played this game? Have you heard of it? Um, did you see the thousand commercials that came out uh, this summer when it was coming around? Um, let me know what you think. If, uh, appreciate you watching. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Um, give us a like. Um, uh, we'd love for you to join the family. Uh, leave us a comment. Let me know what you thought about that. Any games that you play. Uh, and we will catch you next time. Peace.